I, I know the most exciting thing that I can tell you about myself is that in the last several years, for the first times, I have become a grandfather. <laughs> Grandparents, I ask you, is there anything like it? I mean, honestly, I, I didn't know that I had a, that place in, in my... I, said, I told my two sons, I thought I loved you with my whole heart. <laughs> but apparently not. Because until your kids were born, I didn't know I had that extra three quarters in there. <laughs> then my mom and dad got a chance to come out and meet their first great uh, grandchild. Uh, His name was Ben. Is still Ben. <laughs> and to see my dad holding this beautiful little baby, same family, vastly different worlds. Here is my, is this little baby who was just born in a high-tech hospital to well-educated, affluent parents. And here is my dad, this little old man. My dad's been an old man for a number of years and, and <laughs> just recently became little old. Yeah. Here's my dad, this little old guy, who was not born into affluency, but bor born to dirt-poor immigrant Swedish farmers in the Rocky Hills of Pennsylvania, and not born in a high-tech hospital, but born out in the barn. And then they laid him in the manger. <laughs> because there was no room. And, uh, and then the shepherds came. Roy and Vera Shepherd from the farm down the road, they came. And they, 